Hi all. Uh, today I am doing a Bentley MicroStation training. So I am using Bentley MicroStation Connect Edition for this. So uh, first uh, I am going to 2D drawing sessions. Uh, in 2D drawing session, I I am categorizing it to different steps. In this video, I am uh, discussing about this uh, step one: setting up working space. So uh, first thing I am going to do is creating the Bentley MicroStation design file. So here, after you, you log into ben Bentley MicroStation Connect Edition, there's a option called New File. From that, uh, first uh, you can give a destination to save your file. So here I am saving. So uh, then uh, you can give a file name. I give micro station 2D training 2D step 01. So here uh, you can select the seed. So when you click the browse button, you can see different kind of options. So here you can draw 2D seeds. You, you can use 2D seeds or 3D seeds. So here in this exercise, I am using uh, metric drawing because I am going to use meters and millimeters. If you are using uh, inches or feet, you can go to imperial drawing. So then click open then uh, save it so once you save it uh, the software will automatically open the file so maybe uh, in the file you may see the grids or you may you might not uh, you can scroll up and scroll down to see the grids so now i have scroll up then i have scroll down so the second thing is setting the working units. Uh, so from this file, go to setting and uh, in settings, there is a tab called file. In file, there is a tab called design file settings. The first thing that you should do is setting the working units. So I am selecting the master unit as millimeters okay then uh, second one is setting up the active scale so here for this exercise i am using scale as one to one scale i am going to draw uh, so here in uh, you can go to the same settings file design file settings and there you can see active scale so you can adjust scale one to one and then click OK. The third part is setting up the grid. So I am going to software again, design file settings. There is an option called grid. So here I am going to give grid master as one, grid reference 10. So here the and then. I can turn on the grid lock. I am turning on the grid lock for a special purpose. And then I have done the first steps. So second step is uh, completed. So and the third step The third step is uh, setting up uh, dimension style. So dimension style. I'm going to set up the dimension style. Uh, if you you can find it uh, somewhere here uh, in home or annotate. Maybe in annotate uh, there's option called here. 
you can go to dimension style or else uh, you can search it from ribbon you can type dimension styles and open it so i am first uh, giving a dimension style so here style i will dim style one so here from create style you can create any number of dimension style two so here i'll i'm i can uh, adjust the text size so here um, i'm giving the height and width as four millimeters or any number of millimeters normally uh, as you can in the standard there is a standard call uh, you have to use 2.5 millimeters but here i am using four millimeters dimension style 2 also i am giving let's say 2.5 so uh, here in geometry you can see the arrowhead so i am uh, choosing an arrowhead as field uh, i am taking the width as 1.5 and height as uh, 0.5 millimeters here in standard uh, i can't remember actually you can uh, follow the standard and choose it um, that's all then uh, you can save the style save the style too so i i am using the style uh one for this exercise or the style two then uh, you can all the dimension styles are adjusted mm. the third thing is so we have set the dimension style define different levels so in level manager you can define different levels from levels you can draw any number of lines i will show what what is the purpose of this uh, defining level so here you can see a icon here in green colored icon or else you can type level manager and go to the level manager so here you can uh, define the lines that you are using in your uh, drawing so let's say if you are using a uh, hidden lines uh, you can give a color to that hidden line so here i am choosing the color as white uh, line type I am choosing two line thickness. I am choosing one, and uh, I can create a new level, and uh, I will be uh, define it as uh, visible lines. So in visible lines, the thickness should be a little bit higher. I will increase the thickness continuous lines and sent lines i will define another level sent lines i will choose the line type as let's say line 4 line 7 line 4 and uh, thickness zero uh, and uh, i will 
row construction. Construction line, I will give the color as yellow. Mm -hmm. What the, the other line is? Uh, in lines for our, uh, up to now, that's fine. Mm. Let's say for dimension lines, for dimension lines, I will select I will give a continuous lines thin lines with uh, so I have defined all the levels. So after that, uh, I can close it. So in home, when you go to here, you can select, see the different lines, center line, construction lines that I have given. So let's say for an example, if I select construction line and here in place line I'm placing line so you can see it's there are construction lines uh, so if I select center lines and place a line those are center lines Uh, if I select hidden lines and place line, so uh, dash lines, hidden lines. If I select um, visible lines, you can see like this. The thickness is higher you can see that and if I choose dimension line place a line the thickness is lower so likewise uh, you can see the define all the lines so here I am selecting all I'm deleting this from delete button, selecting and delete button. So uh, we have now defined the different levels. So then uh, adding the CAD cell file. So CAD cell file is a standard block. Maybe you have that file at the moment right with you now, or else you can download from online database or anywhere. Uh, so here, uh, CAD file. Uh, first, you you have to place the CAD file. So in your cell selector, you can select the CAD cell file. So here, um, I I have the CAD cell file with me. So I am selecting the CAD cell file. open i have clicked open then uh, first left click on this and you can place it anywhere that you want to place so hence i i have switched on the grid lock so you can see it's going with the grids so it is easier to place a good place i mean corner of the grid then remove so then uh, i have placed the grid lock uh, place the cat cell then uh, you can fill the title block 
here and then uh, you can start drawing in this working space the final thing is complete in the title block for that uh, you can use uh, text box here in annotate you can place text for before that uh, you can define the text so here uh, you can define the text layer uh, you can create a new text layer text layer one and you can give the height i will give the height as six millimeter normally the standard is five millimeter and create i can give a one facing i'm not adjusting other things and i'll save it So after that, uh, you can uh, you can place a text. So hence, I have switch on the grid lock. This will uh, let's say I try my name in block cap capital letters. Should be all the information should be in block capital letters here you can see it's a little bit the text size is 250 that's because the star i have i haven't the select the style so when i select the style now the text height is higher uh, lower it's and uh, hence the grid lock is on i can easily place the text in my desired place i will place the text here then uh, again uh, i can write down my let's say my student number is one one not 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 zero one can place that anywhere let's say exercise uh, test zero one uh, date i will fix the date as uh, here today's Zero six zero three zero six two thousand twenty scale one to one so I can adjust the place of the this uh, Anywhere by moving, dragging and moving. Likewise, uh, you can finish the step one uh, like this. So now uh, the working space is ready for loading. Okay, we'll uh, meet in next video.